Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome back to the video solutions of the BSDS sample paper 2024. So we are now at question 16. Now question 16 is a very unique question that is mixed from matrices and permutation combination. So what is given here? Let M be the collection of all three by three matrices with entries from minus one, zero and one. Then the total number of matrices in A is matrices A in M such that the sum of all diagonal elements of A transpose into A is five. Now we start with a general three by three matrix. All right. So let A equal to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Right. So what will be A transpose? A transpose will be rows become columns. Right. Now let us check A transpose into E. So if you do the multiplication, so you will have A square, then A square, then B square, then C square. So all of the squares will be there in the diagonals, right? So you will have A square plus B square plus G square. Then you will have A, B, D, E, and G, H. And then at the end, you will have A, C, D, F, and G, I. All right. Well, technically, we do not need to calculate this. I just showed you the first row of matrix multiplications. I have A square, D square, and then G square. And then I have A B. Alright. I have D E, I have G H, A C, D F, and G I. So we need only the diagonals, right? So why would we do all of that? So let us not calculate them. Okay, so this is a trick that you can use in exams, especially in objective exams, where you don't need to calculate the positions that you do not need. So what positions are we not needing? These positions. So let us calculate the value at the center of the matrix. Now a square plus d square plus g square was the first diagonal element. Now what will be the second diagonal element? It will be b square, e square and h square, right? So it will be b square plus e square plus h square. And these are not needed. Similarly, these will not be needed. And the last diagonal element would turn out to be c square, f square and i square. Those are the remaining ones, right? c square plus f square plus i square. So a very nice pattern emerges. I hope you could understand. This is just basic matrix multiplication. Now what is the condition given? The condition is given that the total sum of diagonal elements is five. Therefore we have, let us add the diagonal elements, a square plus b square, right? This should be equal to five. Now, where are these elements from? Right? A to dot 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 i, they belong to zero, minus one, zero, and one. So the squares of these will either be zero or one. Right? Although they belong to minus one, zero, and one, see this. A square, b square, dot 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 i square, they belongs to zero and one only. So what do I need to get five exactly? Among these nine, I need exactly any five of them to be one, right? So any five of these nine values could be one and the rest zeros doesn't matter. Now, when I am saying that these five should be zero, I'm just talking about the squares of them. All right. So whatever value A, B, C, D individually may take plus one minus one doesn't matter. I just have to take those five values whose square is one right? and I get five because even if I start with minus one, it'll get squared into plus one and the rest could be zeros. So what is the most optimal way of choosing these values such that I will get five ones. That's basic nine choose five, right? choosing any five 
from 9 squares that will be 9c5 now what is this 9 factorial by 4 factorial into 5 factorial so let us evaluate this this will be equal to 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial by 24 into 5 factorial this gets cancelled out and I have 3 here and 2 here so 9 7 the 63 times 2 is 126 and this is option C okay this sum was a bit of a mixture between linear algebra permutation combination as well as the concept of squares all right so how did we calculate this let us have a quick recap we first looked into a general matrix of 3 by 3 order we took its transpose we did the multiplication we checked the diagonals they are all squares so when we get the sum of diagonals to be 5 that means I have to choose any 5 of these to represent 1 now they might start with minus 1 they might start with 1 doesn't matter since we're squaring them they will only give 1 and the others can be zeros so it can either be a b c d and e are ones so i get five ones i add up to five and the rest are zero the other four are zero also it might be a f g h i are one rest are zero we don't know how will we choose them so the simple formula for choosing is n c five right and what is n here nine there are nine of these so a b c d nine choose five that will give you 126 now you can see the possibility for this sum to get extended right they might give you six okay what is the possibility to get the number six as the sum then you will have your answer as 9c6 or you might be starting with a 4 by 4 matrix in that case that number 9 instead of 9 will become 16 okay because you will have four squares okay four 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 so 16 so I hope you can understand the pattern if you start with uh, n cross n matrix and you multiply it with its transpose you will have n square different elements in the sum of its diagonal and if they add up to m your general formula for this type of sum becomes n square c m okay so once you know this general formula you can just look at this problem and answer it very fast but i didn't tell you the general formula first because otherwise you will be like sir where did this come from okay so i hope the general formula helped you I will just write it there in the question so that you do not forget it so if this was n cross n and if the sum was m and this was the same sample set that the values were taken from then the general solution would be you just have to evaluate this and give the answer okay you might be asked about probabilities in that case you have to adjust it by di by dividing with the base case all right so whatever sums can be built on this you should be able to do it from now on all right okay now that question 16 is done we will meet again in question 17 bye